Hey y'all, um, today we're going to be doing a fish fry, so um, I decided to show y'all a couple of recipes that, that I kind of use, or kind of the things I make to go with the fish. Uh, first thing I'm going to show you while my grease is heating up for our hush puppies is this coleslaw. Um, I got it at Walmart. You can get this one or the angel hair, I think. I prefer angel hair if they didn't have it. So. Um, let's get that into a bowl. Let's see, the package size is one pound. All right, now, this may be a little bit difficult, but we don't like, here in Alabama, we really don't like our uh, coleslaw sweet, but I'm gonna put a few little packets of sweetener in it today. That's something I typically do not do. This that I'm putting in here right now is just regular mayonnaise. Um, I think years ago when I first got married, I used to use um, Kraft and put out a coleslaw dressing. I don't know if they still do. Um, and then uh, that's what I used to use. But my mother-in-law showed me a different way, so something she did. So I like I actually like the way she did it. So all you have to do is just add enough uh, mayonnaise to your liking. Ours, we don't like tons and tons and tons and tons of it. Just enough to kind of wet the cabbage. All right, let me open this other jar of mayonnaise. Um, it's really not much. If I had to guess, anywhere from a quarter to a third of a cup. Maybe. I don't even think so much. I could be wrong. Maybe a half a cup. Just enough. Okay. And then you just try to make sure that all. Now, at this point, you could put some chopped onion in it or chopped tomato. She used to put chopped tomato in hers. Um, some people put onion. My husband doesn't like that, so. I'm not going to put any onion in it. And he doesn't like the tomato in it either. And then what I typically do is take just a little bit of milk. I know it sounds crazy, but I'm trying to thin out that mayonnaise just a little bit. I'm going to put a little bit of milk in there. <clears throat> and that's basically it. It makes it just a little bit more wet, but not too much. salt, uh, sea salt or kosher, whichever, and pepper. Let me grab my pepper real quick. And that's it. And this would be the point if you wanted to put a little sugar in it or, and I wouldn't put too much, maybe a teaspoon or two. check on our our oil for our uh, hush puppy mix we're gonna make you okay let's go ahead and get started on the hush puppies okay so before we get started um, on the hush puppies I wanted to show you this this is a catfish fillet I got them at Walmart um, I uh, thawed them out then I set them in a bowl of water to make sure they're good thawed all the way through and then I pat them dry and then roll them in cornmeal and then you can you know salt pepper them however you want to I didn't deep fry them I just fried them in the skillet and this is what they turned out to look like okay so let's get started on our hush puppies all right you need to get you a mixing bowl first you need to have you some grease heating up I mean, you've got a deep fryer that would be great but mine went out just a few weeks ago so I don't have it anymore um let me grab my whisk real quick okay <clears throat> You need one cup of cornmeal. Okay, let's kind of try to get those lumps out. You need a quarter cup of all-purpose flour. Start again, get those lumps out. You can probably use a fork. Try to do the 
best I can. I get those out. You don't want them in there. Okay. Now, um, let's see, we need an egg. Alright. We need chopped onion. I tried to chop it as small as I could. And the next thing you're going to need is a half a cup of buttermilk or soured milk. So what I did was I soured my milk. Um, you just take the amount that you need, which in our case is half a cup, and then just add a few drops of lemon juice or vinegar in it, and it will sour. So let me pour that in. this batter is going to work. I do not know because this, this is very, very liquidy. I'll try it and see. Alright, let's see what happens. Okay, y'all. Here's, here's our fish dinner with our coleslaw on the side. I, um, I tried my hand at making some hush puppies homemade, but it did not work. It's a really good dinner, really quick, easy. Uh, anybody can do it. Yep.